Hey y'all, out at uh, World of Wheels in Chattanooga 2013, and uh, I'm here to shoot Campbell's uh, 57. Of course, we're going to try to pick up some other cars while we're here, but uh, he's got it finished, and uh, he's made some changes, so a lot of hours between Thanksgiving and right now to uh, get it to this point, but uh, it's sure looking good. So anyways, let me run Campbell down, and we'll take a look at this thing. Campbell, how are you, brother? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, got her finished? Yeah, finally. Looks like you made a few changes on it. Yeah, we've had to make some changes. I just uh, made some things that I wanted to do, and I went on and took time to do them for the show. Sure. You wanted to get it right. Yeah. I wanted it to be right the first time out. All right. It's, it's about as good as I'm going to get, I guess. So this is the first time it's been to a show? Yes, it's the first time. I actually put the wheels and tires on for the last time Friday night, and I was wasting out about 6 o'clock. You, you said between Thanksgiving and uh, now, you had how many hours in putting this thing? 520-something hours. Holy smokes. Yeah, I work seven days a week. I actually work Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. The kids and I all come over. We had Christmas about 6 o'clock on the Sunday before Christmas at the house. And other than that, I've been working on a few seven show ones. It just didn't look like it had that much to do. I don't know, but I just kind of bit the ruse a little bit and did a little more than I intended to do. So, right. Uh, trying to, just trying to make it better. To, things I could have done later, but... Go and do it, get it done. That's right. That's right. And you only show it for the first time, one time. One time. And you yeah. got one time, one time shot at these first time showing things, and that's it. Right. So. Well, let's look at what you did. I see you put uh, that carbon fiber grill in. I'm glad you stuck to that. Yeah, I did the carbon fiber grill and the billet, all the billet bar and all between the lights. And all that's all the one off piece. Now, is that carbon fiber just carbon fiber? Or is it backed by something? It's got an aluminum backing on it is just to reinforce it. I got gotcha. you. And I love them hell headlights. Yeah, those are actually for a Harley Davidson aftermarket piece. Yeah, they shade Harley Davidson in them, don't they? Uh -huh. That's cool. So I guess you had to, to uh, fabricate Had to fabricate that. a mounting system for them. They're a seven inch of headlight, just like a regular headlight, but they didn't anything fit. I had to fabricate a mounting bracket and all that. I got gotcha. you. And the critical part was getting them out the edge of the basils and fit like they're supposed to. Now the buckets they sit in, those are for the car though, right? The brazels is actually for the 57. Right. They're different because we moved this back and, right. then, and then shaved these and smoothed them up and made carbon fiber inserts for all of them. Sweet. But Man. the basils themselves is actually for the 57. The inner fender wells was a big hold up on it. The fiberglass one piece inner fender wells that we done. You said you uh, had a plane on standby for those. Yeah. Did you end up having to use it? Had to go down to Titusville, Florida and pick them up. Sweet. Man, I like that little uh, I like that little panel you made in the back too, yeah, it's, man. It's, it's a cool. carbon fiber filler panel. And right. Dress it up and contour it in a little better. Right. No, I've always liked this car. Is that, no, you didn't have a hood on it. No, I didn't have a hood. The hood was done, but I didn't have it on when it was in stage, because I knew I was going to have to pull the front fenders and all back off whenever I put the fender wells and all in it, so. Right. We didn't have a hood and all on it. Man, dude. But it's a fiberglass hood. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's actually a fiberglass hood. It's done by Allison Rod Shop up in, up in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. He's right. the only one that makes an aftermarket fiberglass hood for a 57 Chevrolet, a boat on hood that I know of. And, and it, it was really a good piece. Yeah. It was uh, mostly fiberglass stuff. Doesn't fit and have to work it a lot to make it fit, but the hood really worked out well. Right. Well, and of course, I mean, you, it's not, you don't have the ability to change it if it yeah, wasn't. So you just. Went, yeah, more time. Right. But it worked out. I mean, we had tweaked it a little bit, but it worked out. Man. And of course, Holcomb rocked this interior. That just that just tops the whole car off, doesn't it? Yeah, he linked it all together. Mm -hmm. was, most of the people critical of my red stripes and stuff, but the way he blended it all together made it all come together. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't understand that. That's a that's a personal preference. I do understand that, but um, I think it looks good. I love the stripes on it, you know. I just like things different. So. I'm with you. No, <laughs> that's what that's what hot riding's all about, you know. Is getting it to uh, you don't want. I mean, there's a lot of tri fives out there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, there's not another one like this. That's right. You know, there's not one that's got stripes running all the way through it. Well, there may be, but you know what I'm saying. 
and then all the carbon fiber. So you've you've taken the old, and now you got it, uh, you know, put in there with the with the new too. Yeah, I made Wendy's trays for the bottom all out of carbon fiber. Yeah, it was, underneath the car. <coughs> I was just noticing that I could see it through the wheel well. Maybe on the other side we can get a better shot of that, or I'll have to lay on the ground. And I'm not beyond that, but. And then you can see in the mirrors here with the stripes and all, we made paneling all the windies, paneling all the carriage stripes, put the gas tank the windy panel yeah. up under the car. Boy, that's beautiful under there. And is this an Art Morrison chassis? No, it's a chassis I built. Really? Street Rock Garage made the front clip and I built everything else in shop. Wow. How many hours total do you think you got in this? About 6,900 hours. Smokes. But I do everything by myself, so right. it just takes a lot of time. It does take a lot of time. You have the ability to do it, which is nice. Because, I mean, these things are expensive to put together, but if you can do some of the labor, you know, that's always helpful. I don't think we had the exhaust on it. Like no, you didn't. It wasn't. I was glad, yes, you know, I was wondering how that was going to work out. That looks good. And I like the little carbon fiber accents up underneath it. Yeah. yeah. No, you tweaked it just right, brother. What size wheels are those on the back? They're 14 inches wide, 20 inch diameter. Yeah. Man, Four that's deep. A three inch offset. Man, that's deep. That's beautiful. Well, folks, I think I'm going to have to lay down to try to get this. I mean, this, this undercarriage is too cool. To pass up, man, a lot. Campbell, you rocked it, brother. What's next? I don't know. I know you're not going to retire. I hadn't really got a project right now. Really? I'm going to show this one and enjoy it probably most of the summer. And then I may do something else. I don't know. I got you. You know what they say, as soon as the hot rod's done, it's time to get another one, right? Well, I'm, I'm partial to the 32, 33, 34 Fords or either a out car. Right. I kind of want to do a Nova, but I don't know. I've already, actually already got a motor and that's one motor in the transmission in, in the shop. But. I don't know what I'll do with it. I got you. I hadn't really got plans right now. I'm going to try to back off and enjoy this one for a while. Take a little break. Show yeah, it. Take a little break huh. and show it and enjoy it. I got you. Man, I'll tell you, brother, it turned out nice. There's nothing I don't like about it. I like it all. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I don't blame you. I'd be proud of it, too. There's one thing I don't like about it. <laughs> it don't belong to me. <laughs> Roll tight hat so it that makes it all together there. Wow. Engine compartments all straightened out in there. And then you said those are fiberglass inner fenders in yeah, there. Yeah, they're all fiberglass, one piece fiberglass inner fenders in there. Took a lot of work. They was rough fiber, they was gel coated on one side, but rough glass on the other side. We smoothed them and Got them back, got them smooth on both sides. So. Now, did you make those or did you buy them? I bought the fender, the, the shell itself, right. the fiberglass shell, and then I had to, you have to tweak them and cut them and make them fit. And, and then if you want the bottom side of them smooth, you have to smooth because they're rough glass on bottom. All right. Since I'm going to show this car for a while, I smooth, took the time to smooth the bottom of them. All right. You didn't cut no corners, that's obvious. I mean, you did all the painstaking stuff to make it, uh, make it to be a show car, yeah. you know? Man. Well, I've got cars to drive, so I mean, I'm. Oh, this isn't your daily driver? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Huh. No, this is not going to be driven. My wife threatens to carry to Florida and vacate with a grandbaby in it, but maybe it'll. She can do that in a year or two when I get through with it. That's what she wants to do. Oh, well, you're, you're mighty kind. Let me well, just put it that way. But I guess she put up with you working on Christmas, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and then, you know, the thing about it, tomorrow's our anniversary. So oh, here she is at a car she's show. She's going to be at a car show on our anniversary. So. Huh. 18 be... years, but she's a good sport. So. Holy cow, how'd she put up with you for 18 years? Uh, I don't know. Huh? It must have been the cool cars. She likes the cars, actually. Yeah. I met her at her daddy's at her daddy's shop working on a race car. So really? She likes the car deal, too. Cool. And that helps. Sure. No, no, it makes it all yeah, work, right? Sport, I couldn't do it. Sure. Well, that's what the thing is, is that these cars are never uh, a one-man 
oh, no. fan, you know what I'm saying? They take uh, family, they take friends, they take everything, you know? Exactly. So, well, Campbell, I'll tell you, brother, I really, really like this car. I appreciate you so much letting me come in here and uh, shoot it when it was finished. We appreciate you and, and Steve and everybody that helped me on the car. And, and uh, looking forward to doing another one one day. Cool. Anybody uh, else besides Holcomb you want to give a shout out to to thank him for I've doing it? i got a guy that helps me with some of my final paint. And uh, David Rye and Allison Dunderhood. And, uh, and that's about it. That's about the only ones that's that's involved in it. Everybody else stayed away, didn't they? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I've already right. been around most of that's the way it is when there's work to be done. You can't uh, find those people called friends, right? Well, Campbell, again, thanks so much. I thank you, sir. Sure. Folks, there you go. Campbell's 57 from uh, World of Wheels 2013. Um, we followed this one from when it came into Holcomb's to when it got to the interior, and now we get to see when it's completely finished and it's out for its first show. So, anyways, hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See you.